Oh, how naive I was when I thought I was going to do a one-shot, and then, because of the last episode we did, where I played as the dog, did I think to myself, hey, would it be funny if I could somehow find and try a run where I exclusively have characters that attract dogs, then kill off those characters, and see how far I can go with just dogs? It's a funny thought, isn't it? Anyways, on a completely unrelated note, What's up, you stinky individuals, and welcome to an episode of Death Road to Canada, where I try to beat the game with only dogs. So, of course, you can't really do this on your own. So, therefore, I have developed a uh, build of characters uh, named Scruff and Bluff. And what these two characters are, they're, they're a duo, but they both have Friend of Dog, which, if you guys remember, was a trait that uh, Ethan had in the last episode I did of this, and that'll attract dogs. So the idea is, the next time I go to a pet store, I need to find dogs as fast as I can, get two dogs, and then kill off Scruff and Bluff, or see how far I can go with Scruff and Bluff, and essentially, see how far I can go, and if possible, try and do it with exclusively just dogs. Now, for all I know, this is going to be very short, um, so essentially, if this run does not last any more than 15 minutes, then I'm going to, uh, then that's going to be, I'm going to try another run, but if it goes for longer than 15 minutes, so essentially to 20 minutes, then that's just the episode. It's just a short episode. Sundays are just meant to be for whatever's for whatever anyway. So without further ado, let's see if this actually works. So you already know what this is. We're going to hit the road. And we're happy. To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. Quiet Hotel Yalmart. Uh, let's go to Yalmart. Dun 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 Okay, oh, I didn't see what the time was, but my boy here only has a piece of wood. So let's see how far we can go. Don't pay, don't pay attention. No, Bluff. Come on, buddy. We gotta go in there. Uh, so Bluff's a girl, by the way. Just in case that becomes a little confusing. She's supposed to be like a, a nice, uh... And like a nice Asian look to her. I kind of like it. And then Scruff's like uh, this weird like homeless guy who's like really into dogs. Okay. Uh, early, any time you play a roguelike where you have to scrounge for supplies, always get as many supplies as you possibly can in the beginning of the game. That's always how it works. Can we collect? Oh, I got a poopy. That's That's not good. So, Bluff seems to be doing pretty well. Oh, God. Yeah. Kill him. E. And just, I think we just need to kill this zombie. And then that should be it. Ooh, not that strong. Uh, Scruff is not that strong. He's a little hobo man, so that's probably why. Hey, I just need to pick up the poopy. I just... Uh, I beat the shit into him. Not a lot of people can claim that, so... Hey, I'm proud. That was all we could find at the Walmart? Jeez. Yeah, this place was pretty ransacked. See if we could find anything outside? No. No, there's nothing out here. Oh, well. Haha. <laughs> uh, let's just... Oh, no, he's breaking the car already, already. He's hurting the car. Oh, man. Should've killed the... Should've killed them. Car's probably already not in the best... No, the chassis is already good. Engine's just a little hurt. Group sitting around a campfire finding this campsite was rough, so they are getting in a bad mood. Sing a song. Uh, we're all in a good mood. How about plan out tomorrow? Bluff, Bluff plans out the next day. It's a good use of time and helps them focus on the big picture. Uh, her wits are really good. Her morale increases. Which is good. So if I need anybody with a wits roll, uh, I know Scruff, uh, his ability or his uh, character trait is that he's bad with wits rolls, so they're actually perfect for each other. The group, the group runs into a horde of zombies. They're completely docile, just waiting outside of a shop in a big single-file line. Every zombie is staring straight ahead. You can send someone to join the line to solve this mystery. It looks like it could be a long wait. Uh, Bluff, see what's up there. Bluff just goes ahead and skips the line completely. She does not play by the rules. Her morale increases, loyalty is revealed, composure is revealed. The shop is a trendy upscale grocery store. Most of the fancier items have rotted to mush, but there's still some loot. Got some food and medical. That's pretty good. Pretty good early on, especially. 
The group drives into a city as it starts to get dark. Try not to lose track of time, things can get bad after the sun sets. Sporting goods store or the bar? Sporting goods store because we need weapons. So I'm just gonna quickly, just in case, get rid of this piece of wood. And just give him a knife. Or give him a uh, flashlight. Just in case, we're gonna have to keep track of time pretty fast. So let's go straight to the sporting goods store. To see where that is, there's a mansion over there. There he is. Okay, let's go inside. Oh, st starting up immediately. Shoot, I wanted the golf club. No, damn it, Bluff, I wanted that. Keep your broom. Okay. Golf club. Uh, let's try and get the tennis racket. Oh. Okay, no, 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 Bluff. Just run around them, get the weapons, and get out of here. That was a method that I completely did not use, and I feel like an idiot for doing so. Uh, get the tennis racket too. Here. Yeah, get the... Get the hatchet. No, hatchet. Uh, here. Give you the hatchet. And give me the tennis racket. Let's hurry and get out of here because there are a lot of zombies this way. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Come on, come on, Bluff. Oh, shoot. Oh, please come out. Oh, thank God. Okay, let's, let's quickly go... Uh, it's 6.30, we should be able to raid one house. Let's raid this one small house for some supplies. It's got nothing. Let's hope this mansion's got some supplies. Let's see. Uh, it's not going there yet. There's a burger. That just goes to the same room. Nothing there. We're just going to quickly look through here because it is almost nighttime and we do not want to be... Okay, it's good. It's a quick stop. Nothing good. We need to hurry the hell out of here, though. Uh, they're not doing anything to us. Let's hurry before... There's no zombies here, so we should be good. And let's... Bo -bo 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 get out of here. Good run so far. Very good run so far. Everyone's happy. We have a lot of food, a lot of gas. We're doing so good. The group couldn't find any safe shelters, but was able to cobble together a campsite. The weather is terrible all night. God damn it. Bluff didn't mind it that much. Her attitude is really nice. It's so quiet here. There's no signs of life or unlife. It seems like everybody or everyone took what they could and evacuated this town immediately. Scavenge thoroughly, rest for a day, rest for three days, loot quickly, and run. Um... Uh, his, uh, let's rest for a day. The group barricades one of the houses and gets some much needed rest and Scruff's morale increases. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Conserve your water. We don't want to waste any. We don't have any water. We only have hamburger. Okay, we have a, uh, let's, let's see the trader camp. Might be able to find a dog. Rocket launcher. What do you have here? Uh, pipe bombs. Shouldn't need those this early on. We have 15 food, so we need to save as much as we can. The group finds a dumpster. It's locked tight, and with a slot in the side, there are weapon names and prices scrawled near the hole. Just drop the food in here! An Uzi. Grenade. Grenades. Okay, no, we are good. Nothing good here. There might be someone out here, though. Maybe. My personal rule is that only Scruff and Bluff are the only... Uh, characters that we can have. They're the only characters, like humans, that we can have on this team. Unless there's a rare character, I'll make an exception, but chances are we'll not find it. It's locked. Uh, let's see. The group comes across a house by the road. It's locked. While trying to smash the door down, a voice calls out, Hey, leave my door alone, you dinks. Scruff. I'm not a dink! You are an especially huge dink, you dink. Sc Scruff is infuriated and smashes on the door for a while. The group ends up leaving shortly after. His composure and attitude were revealed and decreased. Scruff is a is an angry old man. The car gets stuck in a ditch near a crappy dirt road. The group is close to getting the car out when a roaming whore draws near. Now they must distract the zombies from getting too close. Siege alert, there is no escape. 
Siege Link is 0.7 hours. It's late afternoon, though. Ugh. I never use the flashlight, but we will keep one regardless. And then, broom. Let's go. Status, uh, team. We are, uh, defend. Yeah, okay. Just smash through as many zombies as we can. Get out, get out. No, come on. We cannot be cornered by zombies this early. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That early, huh? Just run away from the horde. We just gotta tank them for a while. Just kinda pick them off. Pick them off one by one. Uh oh. Well, this was a bad idea. Never mind, let's go. I don't want the pipe. You know what? I'm fine. Six zombies destroyed? I don't care. I still feel like the odds are good here. I do too. My medical was revealed and it sucks. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. Uh, let's see. Uh, morale is good. Mm, composure, loyalty. Medical has proven to be pretty bad. So let's have medical increased. When it comes to zombie first aid, practice makes perfect. Bluff's medical skill. Oh, they were both bad. Okay. Well, it's good that we increased that. So that... Hopefully, it'll be good. We need to be wary of random people. Who knows what they're capable of? The group finds an abandoned campground with a fire pit. Bluff even finds an old, somewhat stale, extra-large pack of marshmallows. Eat marshmallows or tell stories. Uh, let's eat some marshmallows. The group sets up camps that needs a huge bag of marshmallows instead of eating dinner. That's even. There's even some left over, so we got two hamburgers out of the marshmallows. That's awesome. How did the hamburgers even get there? This wouldn't have happened if Obama... It doesn't matter anymore, Scruff. Talk about something else. My goodness. Deadly Yalmar or Raging Inferno. These both sound terrible. How much gas do we have? 31. Oh. Deadly Yalmar or Raging Inferno. Raging Inferno. The group runs into a large house that is both swarmed in on fire. The aggression's calm. It's nightfall. Oh, what the frick, dude. Okay, let's find everything we can and fast. Let's see if we can find anything. I love the big ha oh, ha ha ha. I am a zombie. With a jaw that big, there's no other way that that zombie talks. Come on. Uh, there's nothing there. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, we gotta hurry. Okay, go around the fire. Uh, fire is starting, so we better get out of this area fast. Just quick hurry and get... Uh-oh. Okay, get bullets. Because we needed more of those. Oh, keep going. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on, Bluff. We gotta go. Scruff! We have to hurry! Scruff, why are you running into the building? It's on fire! There might be goodies in there! There might be a dog! Uh, ball pine hammer. Might be better than the racket. Doing good with the golf club. Actually, I was doing better with the... Oh. I think that's like the same, like, weight of a racket. This is actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, just gonna squeeze through. Oh, fire started. Nothing there. No, don't be on fire. Ow. I'm, I'm one to talk now, aren't I? Aren't I, Bluff? There's a sword. Why is there a sword? Why is there a sword? I'll take the sword, but that's awesome. Please. Thank you. Okay, we gotta hurry. I think that's the best we're gonna get. Oh, this is a completely new area. We can't. No, no, no. We're going. We're going. Scruff's got a big fucking sword and he's about to slash ya! He's about to slash ya! 
Oh, it's so good. Hurry and get out of here. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. That's actually a really good combo. Here, get out, get out. Yeah, let's go. Got some food. We need more gas. We are running out of gas. Bluff tries to help, but lacks enough medical supplies. As the group searches an abandoned house, a miracle happens. They find a government ration box unopened. To their horror, it turns out to it turns out there's dog poop sitting right on the handle of the supply box. There's no way to open it without touching the poo. Uh, Bluff is have someone open it. This is really gross. This is poo on the crate. This could be a big deal. Bluff, you got it. Bluff loves dogs and is no stranger to picking up dog poop and putting it in a plastic bag. In fact, doing so reminds Bluff of civilization, feeling that warmth in your hand, feeling alive. You got food. So, both of them were friend of dog, so they both would have been able to do it. The group is driving down a long stretch of road, no threats on the horizon, but not much else of interest. You have 37 food left. Unexpectedly, you find... The group finds someone they can trade with. Let's visit the trader camp. So we need... What do we need? We need gas. We need gas more than anything. Who are you? The group sees a woman standing near a stockpile of crates. I got food! I'm looking for for some great weapons. Sell the Fire Lung Greatsword for 15 food. We have 37 food. Let's give nothing right now. She's looking for great weapons, but I do not want to get rid of my, my awesome weapon. The group sees a man. Do you have any spare gas? I'm running out. I... Bluff robs him. Ooh. I kind of want to do that. Oh, I kind of want to do that. Probably not the best idea, though. Also, wait. Do we know who has better strength? No. Uh, okay. That doesn't matter, then. I need gas. Hi, Doom Guy. This man is wearing a futuristic sci-fi armor holding a matching rifle. Likely some sign of cosplay, though I don't know who because I'm not a nerd. Nobody tells Moody what to do. I'm Moody. I can recruit him for 15 food. We don't even have 15 food. We have 37. Ooh, we could get we could get 15 food. That'd be awesome. The group talks to a meek-looking woman. She invites you to check out her collection of rifles. I do not need rifles. Appreciate it, though. We need gas. Oh, God, I need gas. This rifle-wielding woman claims to train others in competitive shooting. Uh... Bluff uses charm. Bluff gets free training with firearms. She already feels like a stronger shot. That is amazing. Thank you, Bluff. Uh, you have shotgun. Bluff robs the trader. Please do not rob the trader. We need gas. I want to talk to you. It's an old but fit man in a matching gray sweatpants and sweatshirt. He screams something about building mass and bulk with an intensive strength routine. He flails forward heavy objects. Oh, that's cool. Leave for now. Um, I kind of want... To Doom guy, I really think Doom guy would be really fun. Um, but but oh man, we don't have the food for it unless I sell the sword. But I think Doom guy would do really well with the sword. This is dogs only though. You don't have to be lonely at dogsonly.com. Let's uh, let's start the car. Oh, this car. Uh oh. Yeah, this car is not gonna be good anytime soon. Oh, this car is. It's not looking- Oh, the engine's dead. What we need is a lot of chainsaws. <laughs> a lot. The group sets up camp outside a grocery store. They notice another group has been following them and will probably attempt to loot the place. Send one person in to loot. Um, let's see. Wits? It's really good. Attitude. Fitness. I think finesse or wits and attitude. Composure. Ah, uh, loyalty, morale, medical. I'm gonna send in bluff? Scruff stands outside for the looters as Bluff searches the grocery store. Bluff says there wasn't any food in there. Her morale decreases, and they eat a decent meal. Oh well, that sucks. Scruff is a Debbie Downer. Look at that little man. He's so sad. The car has completely run out of gas and coasts to a stop. Okay, while walking around the dirt road, spotted a car in the distance. It was only when he got close to it that he realized it was just a giant rock. Dang it. 
The group is fortunate to find an abandoned cabin in the woods to stay the night in. Shortly after setting up, a storm moved in. Lucky for them that they found the cabin in time. Good. Scruff rolls up his sleeves and starts tending to their wounds. Scruff tries to help but lacks enough medical supplies. Gee, thanks, man. She falls into a deep puddle of water. We lose food, ammo, ammo, and morale decrease. Good night. We are not doing good. The group finds a rest stop after hours of walking along the road. It's a car. Looks like it can be driven. The keys must be somewhere near. Okay. Okay, it's morning, so we don't need a flashlight. What the hell is this? A blowtorch. Let's save that for later. And let's just worry about finding those keys. Okay. We're just gonna go straight indoors. I need to find these keys fast. Oh, they are going in. They are coming in. Oh, yeah, because their aggression's hunting, isn't it? Oh, damn it. I didn't think about that. Oh, there's going to be a horde of zombies right outside. So what we're going to do is we're going to just... We have plenty of time... To kind of dodge the horde as it comes in. Yeah, the horde zombies is coming in. Just kind of let them... No, 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 no. We're just going to lead them all here. You fool. Just lead them here. Okay, now what we do is we go all the way up. They're going to start coming after us, and we are going to go, hopefully, through here. Big Brain. Only Big Brain plays here on the Hangtando channel. So subscribe if Big Brain plays are what you came here for. Although, if you really did come here for Big Brain plays, I'm so sorry to disappoint. Come on, just let him in. Let him in. Oh, just bring in those zombies. Bring it on! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. A lot of zombies. Uh, let's try and go through here. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. And she only has the axe. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, golly. Okay. Well, we got to get those keys. Okay. Is there anything I can... Oh, my gosh. That's a dog car. That is the dog car from Dumb and Dumber, and I'm so happy I know that. Get the tire iron. We are reloaded. We are conquer, live, and reloaded. Okay. Okay. Oh, shoot. Gosh, that took so much damage. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. God damn it. Oh, no. Is this run going to be over? Oh, this run is so dead. Oh, it's so over. We got to get the keys and go. Got to get the keys. Fuck. Get the keys. Yep. 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 Pick up the keys. Just pick up these supplies. You maniacs. You killed Scruff. What is this? What the? What is this? What is? What is? What is that? I don't know. A zombie like. Okay, we'll use this for now. You maniacs! You killed Bluff! You motherfuckers! You taste the fires of hell! Okay. Uh, no. Come on, pick up the sword. Pick up the axe. Pick up the axe. Oh, God. Hey, okay. just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Get in the car. Get out of there. Well, got a lot of gas, though. But we have the sad one. Um... Self-help book on positivity would be very nice. Oh, my attitude, my composure, my morale. I'm so happy. I'm dead. We don't have any medical supplies. Oh, no. Packed grocery store, cabin rescue. And for half our gas, we can drive around some more. Like, more than half our gas. Cabin rescue? We need... What do we need? I feel like... Cabin rescue? Siege alert. For an hour. Okay. 
Uh, screw it. Let's do this. Sure. Let's do it. Ah, shoot. Who are you? Hey, buddy. Arnov, follow me. Okay. I'm just gonna use fire. Burn him all! Burn him all! Oh, he died. Burn everybody that you know. Burn everybody, it just goes to show. Do not hurt me. Please don't hurt me. How much? 49? Okay. Just... Get out of here. Gotta go. I gotta go back to my doggy car. Back to doggy car. Back to the doggy car. Scruff feels pretty guilty about Arnov getting eaten. Such is life, I suppose. Yeah, did not really care for him. We need a dog. The whole point was to get dogs. The whole point was to get dogs. Scruff finds an empty spot along the roads. It's a decent meal. Only two food. We have a lot of food, a lot of gas. Oh, no. Well, this is, uh, I will be very fortunate if I do make it to Canada. While driving down the death road, decides to make a stop. Ah, oh, bug store. Apartment row. Apartment row might have a chance of getting dogs. Nightfall. Ugh. Uh, seven. Oh my gosh, it's already that late. Okay. Just quickly go to this house, and that's probably all we can do. Why aren't they dying? Uh. Say hello to fire. Luckily, the fire does not seem to hurt me. It is 8.05. Okay, we have to hurry. Don't see a dog. And nothing there either. Gotta find some supplies. Gotta find some supplies. Gotta find supplies. Gotta hurry and find some supplies. Ow. See ya. Just enough to hit the zombies down. That's all I care for. Bullets. Bullets. That's so bad. God. We need medical supplies so bad. Oh, man. Why is it so late? I don't want to... Oh, gosh. More zombies are going to be here by nightfall. Okay, it's just going here. Nope. Okay, yeah, it's already almost 9 o'clock. I am not risking this biscuit. Go, go, go. Get out. I only got ammo, but I don't even have a gun. Gosh, we are screwing. Free healthcare in Obama's America. Scruff spies a hitchhiker. He is wearing a hockey mask and standing still alongside the road, statue-like, staring off at nothing in particular. In one hand, he has a chainsaw, in the other a machete. As the car gets closer, the hitchhiker turns his head slightly to gaze right at... Uh, stop for him. Whatever. Opens the car door and sits down, says nothing. Looks like you have a new friend. We got Jason Voorhees. Onward to Canada. Look, I need a new character just in case. No. Next time we stop, I want to use the car battery to power my game console. No. As the group explores a campsite, they're ambushed by bandits. They're, they brandish makeshift weapons. Fight the bandits. Group tries to take her chances. Uh, Scruff is killed. And Jason is the only one left alive. But he has a chainsaw. Uh, that uses gas. What? Oh, he won't. He won't. Mason? <laughs> His name's Mason. That's great. The car is completely run out of gas. Jason Voorhees is back on the road yet again. While trekking through the woods, uh, it gets pretty lost. If he keeps going like this, he'll waste a lot of time. Uh, climb a tree. Decide to climb a tree. Climbs the tree with a little effort. It's fun exercise. 
His morale increases. After a hard day, uh, gets attacked by ants. But he's cool. Rolls up his sleeves and starts tending to his wounds. Well, Jason, dude, sees the dirt road. A lot of wrecked cars, a lot of zombies. At the end is one car that looks like it might start. Let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh. Got a lot of... Some geath. Take some geath. Just gonna zoom by. Oh, that's a lovely little jalopy. No, don't hit the car, you fool. Don't hurt the car. How damaged is the car already? Actually, it's not damaged at all. Oh, this is going to be so nice. Finds a cabin in the woods with no zombies in sight. Uh, got chop wood. Could be nice. Uh, just go to sleep. Increase morale. Didn't, I thought he would. Nine driving days until Canada. Oh, we're close. We're surprisingly close. He wipes blood off his mask. While traveling down a peaceful yet boring stretch of road, uh, sees a weird cloud. The cloud just looks like. Busting swarm of bees, a sweat band, an exploding car. Um, hmm, an exploding car. Clouds look like a car that's exploding. Nice. Is uplifted and inspired by this. His mechanical increases. That's what I was hoping for. And his morale decreased again. Damn it. Aw, oh, Jason's sad. Jason is driving down a long stretch road, no threats on the horizon. And finds someone he can trade with. Let's see. That's a Mart. Oh, that's awesome. I don't think I've seen one inside a Mart yet. Uh, what do we've got? We have 26 food. Is that Michael Jackson? Sees a woman standing near a stockpile of crates. Looking for some great weapons. Uh, well, if Jason could let go of anything in the trunk. A bunch of firearms. No. I'm assuming you sell spears. Nothing good here. Nothing good. Take down sweatbands. Well, the fittest will survive in a zombie-filled world. Sure, let's do some training. Oh. <laughs> Jason didn't even break a sweat. He is stupid fit. Okay, well that's good. Good to know. We gave her some food though. Jason is nice. We have nine driving days till Canada. If As long as we keep Jason alive, we should be good. Thinks about something. Probably murder. This is great. He's funneled into the only place that looks defendable, a ruined wall. Massive. Late morning, 1.5 hours. Okay. Well, we can't change anything. So let's do this. Just get more gasoline. Just kind of walk around the mart. Oh, it's a cop! Hey, what? Ready to rock! Get me out here. Uh, anything else in terms of supplies? Oh, there's another cop. Yeah, this is what I was trained for. Okay, we're just gonna kinda... Just burn through all of these zombies. Ooh. Okay, we need to save the chainsaw for when we leave. Dude, Jason's so good. Okay, we just have to hurry before the siege is over. We just need to do good. Come on. Uh, I need to. I need to just survive long enough. Come on. Grab up the chainsaw one last time. Just burn through. Burn through, Jason. Yes! Let's go! Let's go, Jason. Good job, buddy. Jason stares silently. He feels inspired. He feels like he's getting the hang of this. Morale in one health healed. Yes. <laughs> yes. Got a zombo. We got a zombie point. 
Okay, we're good. We don't have any gas. Uh, tells scary stories to himself. Decides to tell scary stories. <laughs> but it turns out that he was alone telling the scary stories to Ghost. Whoa! He has fun, but doesn't get enough sleep and is tired the next day. God damn it. The car's completely run out of gas. Okay, Jason. You got this, buddy. Without a car. They demand six food to pass safely. Uh, refuse and fight? Jason knows that every single one of his supplies are essential. He's hurt. Hey, well, we got heal. Spots an old boot. Doesn't look like anyone else's size, but hey, it's free. This is this is surely a symbol. Ignore the boot. Ignore the boot. You do not need a boot. Spots a car parked in the middle of the road. They rush over to discover a car that looks suspiciously like the car they started their journey in. Here we go again. We got some gas for the chainsaw. How are we doing this good? How are we how are we going this far? Can't find the car keys. After a while, he spots the keys laying in a gator's open mouth. Wrestle the gator, Jason! Wrestles the gator for the keys. The gator is bested by his raw strength. Spets out the keys. Come on, Jason, you got this, man. Jason feels alone in the world, but he can't let it get, get him down. If he keeps on going, he knows that he'll meet new friends. He sees a city in the distance with zombies crowding the streets. Getting back alive may be very difficult. With Bark Banner. God damn it! Why? Why, dude? Why? Why? Why does it... Okay. Well, strength and fitness, Jim. Probably got his weapons apartment with Bark Banner. Probably is the best idea. Let's go. Huh. We just have to scavenge enough food and gas. That's all I care for now. Because he can't use guns. He can't use anything. Just don't even bother. It's just... Okay. New challenge, Jason Voorhees. Uh, I mean, Jason's essentially a zombie. Bye. And it's 8 a.m., so we should be good. So, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of chill and just kill some zombies. Killing's what Jason does best. No. 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 Oh, maybe medical supplies? Yes! Medical supplies! Let's go! Bye, zombie. I love this little Jason walk. He's adorable. Excuse me. Smack. Probably he's up here. Maybe. Uh, this might be it. Bark! Bark! Okay. Is there a doggy here to help me? Ooh, zombie! Ooh, two food. Medical supply medical supplies in the oven. How did I not think of that? Toilet. Got a gas from toilet. It's spooky. Nope. Uh you you wanna keep spooky? Frick. Just gonna quickly use some gas, get some more medical supplies. Honestly, I could go. I could leave. I need 36 gas. Uh, probably need some more gas. Okay. Ooh. Gonna just circle around these zombies. And kill you. Shoot. Just, need a, just needed enough to burn through that. Uh, bark. Bark, bark. Doggy. Where's doggy at? Don't need bullets! Even if we get the dog... Okay, not there. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Lord and... Oh, Lord Almighty. <gasps> doggy, it's a pug, too. It's a little puggy-wuggy. Hello? The dog seems unusually tame. Most dogs that are still alive have become feral at this point. This dog seems eager to see humans. Let the dog follow me. Elsa. She could be useful if you can get her out of here alive, or a handy distraction if you can't. Come on, doggy. Jason has a pug now, and this is the best run I've ever had in the game. I I both love and hate this. Come on, Elza. Please go. No, Elza. Elza, you fool. Elza, you fool. You're all I came here for. You are all I came here for. Gas is probably not going to be easy to find. So let's just... Let's just get out of here. I came here for the dog, and that is all I came here for. Let's go. 
Elsa catches with him at a safe spot. She seems she wants to stick along. Recruit. Recruit the dog. It's Jason in a pug. Amidst an aura of malice while camping for the night, Jason has a lot of fond memories about his last time at summer camp. Also, Elsa is missing. She probably is fine. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> Uh, question mark, uh, Jason is about to break into a small fortified grocery store, but finds Kathleen already living inside. Seems like a calm, clever person. Now, let's leave Kathleen alone. Jason's just gonna kill people. Might as well just keep going. Uh, stop for supply. Bullet written house. Leave them be? Leave them be? Police headquarters. Could be interesting. There might be gas. We need gas. Oh, we need more gas because I want my chainsaw. Bullet ridden house, leave them be. Sure. The car has completely run out of gas and coasts to a stop. Spots a car speeding him in the road, maybe in danger, he can help them. Without slowing down, stealth out, and then the car is gone. Morale decreases. Oh, that's a shame. After an entire day of walking, question mark, question mark, question mark, finds a safe camping spot. He is very hungry and he needs an extra meal. It's a decent meal. Rolls up his sleeves and starts tending to his wounds. He can't, though, because he's Jason Voorhees. He's never known for his medicals. He's robbed by weak bandits. The, bans the bandits are of a kind that would normally not be a problem if question mark, question mark, question mark had a car or wasn't tired from walking all day. Uh, pay a total of six food. How much food do we have? We have 18 food, especially only for Jason. Pay the toll. Pay the toll. Jason, I know you're sad. It's fine. Walks to a junkyard with a car pulled up to the front of it. The car looks like it will run, and it might be the last one you see for a while. Let's go. We have a demon sword, and the fact that Jason can't use the demon sword is so sad. That would be so nice. Just squeeze by here. Uh, there might be gas. I need to find places with gas. Can I just go in? Or does it need... There's more gas. 18 gas. It's not the best, but with it being a car junkyard, there might be more gas. So might as well scavenge around for gas. It's only 8 a.m. Let's just go. There are a lot of zombies. Holy bejesus, there's a lot of zombies. But Jason will be fine, probably. The fact that he killed the dog made me sad, but you know. Jason probably will be fine. Just rummage through the garbage. Can you get gas? No, there's the keys though. Need the keys. Get out. We just have to hit them enough where I can move. That's all I needed. I just needed one gas to get through. Uh, no zombies near. Okay, I'm gonna kill these zombies that are near the car. Okay, one zombie. We have to hurry. Go, go, go! And we're gone. 17 gas, not the best. Okay. Morale decreases. Good night. Somehow it's more blood. <gasps> he treats his wounds! Good job, Jason. I'm so proud of you. Sits up camp late on the... There's a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but many should still have a little bit of gas. Who would you like? Yes, siphon out the gas, Jason. Jason, how do you swallow gas? You son of a stupid... Oh, at least his morale increased from sad to sad. He was really lonely without his friends. He wanders off to the nearest abandoned summer park and sulks for years until more people show up. With no one left to drive the car to... Well, God... Damn it. <laughs> God damn it. But you know what? I You know, from going from a trip to only dogs to going to Jason being by himself, but because there was no one there to kill... He just left, and the game ended. God damn it, that would have been such a good run, too. We were so close to Canada. But unfortunately, we, we I guess we just didn't survive the death route to Canada. So unfortunately, that's going to be it for this episode. Again, if this game seems at all interesting to you, please play it. Try it out for yourself. This is a really fun game. It's on Switch. It's on PC. It's really fun. I'm playing the Switch version right now. Of course, I am. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to show, like, of course it is. 
Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If uh, Just thank you so much for getting this far. Um, if, you know, if you clicked on this video in the first place, that just makes me very happy. I, I'm a small channel, if you can't tell. So you clicking on this video throughout like the millions of other content on YouTube, I really appreciate it. And hey, since you got here so far, why not subscribe? It's completely free to you, although I'd be impressed if you did not already know that. But yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys next week. So, uh, yeah. Bye-bye!